from the movie featuring a bunch of iconic Blue Beetle costumes to its release date, which is a lot closer than you think. Here are some details about Blue Beetle DCU fans need to know. For starters, the film will feature a bunch of Blue Beetle suits from the past. If you're a longtime fan of the character, prepare to be amazed. Turns out the film won't just feature a single Blue Beetle, but it's also going to give fans a look at some of the most iconic versions of the character from over the years. Now, while this may be the first live-action adaptation of the superhero, in the comics, he goes all the way back to 1939. Yeah, Blue Beetle's that old. Back then, he used to appear in the Mystery Men comic series, and well, much, much later, in 1986, he joined the DC Comics universe. Obviously, with so many years of comic books under his belt, the character has seen a bunch of changes to his costume. And the new trailer for the Blue Beetle film confirmed that fans are going to be able to see the superhero's rich history. One of the costumes teased in the trailer belonged to Dan Garrett. He sported a pretty classic red and blue costume, which a lot of people think is the default look for the character. While it's unclear if this costume will have larger consequences on the plot or if it's just an easter egg for eagle-eyed fans, either way, it's safe to say that DCU fans are incredibly excited. That said, the version of Blue Beetle fans are getting in the film is a lot different from the comics. This time around, Jamie Reyes is going to take over the role of the Blue Beetle. Portrayed by Sholo Maridueña, who you may remember from Cobra Kai, it's going to be a pretty fresh take on the iconic superhero. Jamie's a college graduate that's trying to figure out just what he wants to do with his life. And luckily for him, he pretty much gets served the Blue Beetle suit on a silver platter after he accidentally fuses with the thing. In a scene that pretty much looked out of a horror movie, honestly, he becomes the owner and wielder of the epic suit. Now, in the film, it looks like they're saying that the Blue Beetle itself is something that's passed down from generation to generation, and that it actually belongs to an alien species called the Reach. But just how much of its history will be discussed in the film is still unknown. But interestingly, the writers aren't shying away from the lore and history surrounding this superhero. Speaking of which, the trailer had the superhero's amazing powers on full display. Even though the initial teaser for the film was pretty short, it gave DCU fans a good idea of just what they can expect. And two words came to mind. Tony Stark. Like, is it just me or does the whole suit remind y'all of Iron Man? Even down to the appearance of the superhero and the fact that it's sort of controlled by a sentient AI-like personality. Now, that's not a knock on the film. Iron Man's great. And if this is supposed to be DCU's version of him, I'm completely on board. In the trailer, fans got to witness Reyes turning into the Scarab's host and then being flown all the way to the Earth's outer atmosphere. It was a pretty amazing shot and gave me hope that the CGI and VFX work on this movie will impress. There's another really epic scene of the Blue Beetle suit telling Reyes that it can create anything that Jamie imagines. So of course he decides to wield an epic sword to take down whatever enemy is unfortunate enough to face him. It seems that he may go through the traditional hero's journey of not being able to use the suit properly at first, but over time bonding with the AI a bit more until he finally becomes a pro at it by the end. Hey, it's not the most original thing, but if it works, it works, right? That said, not everything in the film is based on existing tropes. In fact, it even breaks some superhero conventions. You know how in almost every superhero movie, the main character has to hide his identity from his friends and family for their own safety? Well, it seems that Blue Beetle's going to take that rule and throw it out the window. Jamie's family is right there to witness him getting the Blue Beetle. And well, they're all screaming in shock and it's super hilarious. There's no need for him to have a super secret identity and tiptoe around everyone, which is a pretty refreshing take on the genre if you ask me. I mean, everyone knows that eventually they find out about these things anyway. So it's great that this DC film is trying something new instead of focusing on that same tired cliche. Though, that's far from the only details fans will want to know about this movie. There's also the fact that the trailer teased who the villain will be, and it's none other than Victoria Cord. Now, you may be wondering just who that is, and let me fill you in. So, this Blue Beetle film is based on a recent comic book series, which is called Graduation Day. And in this comic, we learn that Ted Cord apparently has a sister named Victoria. Now, without giving away too much, let's just say she's not really all as she appears to be. And if you've noticed her in the trailer, it's pretty clear that she's meant to be a full-fledged villain. It seems that Cord Industries is after the Blue Beetle themselves, 
and they're gonna go to any length to retrieve it from Jamie. Considering that this is a company that has just about everything at its disposal, I mean, stuff like fancy gadgets and magic lasers, it really does seem like Jamie and his fam are gonna have their hands full. But of course, he won't be alone, because like I said, the Scarab sort of has a mind of his own. And this is something you may have noticed in the trailer too. It's possible that the Blue Beetle choosing Jamie wasn't an accident, and that it may have noticed some kind of latent power in him. So in the end, he may just have been the chosen hero and all that. It's clear that there are tons of amazing tidbits about the film, and much of this is thanks to the film's director. The movie's being directed by Angel Manuel, who seems like he's a big fan of the Blue Beetle comics. No wonder there are a ton of fun little easter eggs and references in the trailer. But that's not the only thing Angel brings to the table. There's also the fact that he's Latino, and he's tried his best to incorporate his culture into the film. The director mentioned that he's allowed the character's Latin roots to shine through, and as fans see the Reyes family on the big screen. They'll see just how each generation of the family operates differently. Plus, showing that they're all immigrants is a big part of the movie, which I feel is going to do a lot to make the film even more relatable to some folks. It's pretty promising to see the director talk about the project with such passion, because it's not always that you get to see stuff like this happen on the big screen. That being said, Angel did mention that you don't have to be Latino yourself to enjoy the movie. Its core themes and messages go beyond ethnicity, and are really all about acceptance and unity. They didn't really write the movie to have it fit into some pre-existing mold, but rather tried to focus on what they wanted it to be. Now, as exciting as all these details are, there's one important bit of information that fans don't know about yet, and that's if the movie's even included in the new DCU. For those who've been living under a kryptonite rock, James Gunn and Peter Safran are more or less in charge of the DC Universe now, and they've decided to go ahead and wipe the slate clean. This means that all the previous DC projects that were in the works won't really have a confirmed future after this new overhaul. That includes stuff like Shazam, The Flash, Aquaman, and yes, Blue Beetle. The movie was made by the previous DC leadership, and so far, neither Peter nor Gunn has really given any confirmation on whether the character will be included in their new universe. In fact, there was no mention of Blue Beetle in any of the projects that the two teased for the first chapter of the revamped DC universe. So, chances are that no matter how successful this movie turns out to be, it may just end up being binned after its release, with no sequels planned. But there's a bit of hope. James did say that less than half of the first chapter of the DCU has been revealed so far, and so there's a good chance that Blue Beetle's among the projects that haven't been showcased yet. In any case, it's possible that fans will have more details coming their way when the movie gets released on August 18, 2023. So, from its release date, which is a lot closer than you think, to the fact that it features a bunch of iconic Blue Beetle costumes. Those were some of the Blue Beetle details DCU fans need to know.